everyone so in this video I want to show you the basics of iMovie software which is our default software that comes in with any Apple devices format is a little different with a Mac uh, with an iPad or iPhone um, on this one I'm going to show you guys the Mac version this is the best software if you're just a beginner or starting to learn to how to edit videos or writing a YouTube channel this is like perfect this video should cover all the basics you need to start off with iMovie so it should be already there in in your Mac if not there which is very rare you can just search in the App Store you can search for iMovie and it should be available so once you have the app you're gonna click on iMovie And you reach this page right here so under create new you got to click on the plus sign so that's the first step and then you see an option for a movie or a trailer so you should click on movie because you will have more control on the movie portion because you can adjust the the background and everything it's under your control and trailer is just to create a trailer with a template that's actually available in iMovie so right now we're just gonna go for a movie so this is how it looks like once you create a movie and and this place right here this is called the timeline this is where all the editing happens here's where you put all the media files and when I say media files that that can be like images photos videos graphics uh, music anything so those whatever you're gonna import in here you're gonna find it over here you can see those clips in here on the right side and this is where you edit which is called the timeline next step would be to import the media which is the most crucial part of course so uh, I'm gonna import it so for importing you just you can click on this button right here or this button right here so I'm just gonna click here so I have a so I have an iMovie 2020 tutorial so I'm just gonna select all of these in here I'm just gonna um, press on shift and then select all the uh, video files and then I'm just gonna click on Im import selected so once that's done you can see all the files that's being imported in here each of the clips in here you can actually see the duration which pops up right here this is like 1.6 minutes this is 35.6 seconds this is 43.7 seconds and if you if you like hover over your cursor right here you will see what's going on in here so that's how it actually works it's the fun part which is starting to bring the media into the timeline area so for that uh, your goal is to bring each of these or whichever clips you want to the timeline so there are many ways to do this first option is just drag and drop so I'm just gonna uh, just select this and then just drop it in here and then it goes on option is you can click on the plus sign so if you select in here you see a plus sign here you can either plus that or you can press you can just click on E when you press the button E it goes to the end rather than to the first All right so now I have two files in my timeline area so now we can start off with the editing process if you want to select just a portion of the clip into the timeline there is many ways to do this first one is if you wanna so for example if I want a portion of this video into my timeline area I know that certain portion is like not needed just hover over the cursor and if I want like somewhere here to for the video to start I can just go in there and then select uh, click on the letter I and then hover over again and where I want it to end I can just click on select there and then click on O so it, apparently it's like input output so I O and now in order to add it to the timeline area same thing you just have to add, click on the plus sign or you can just click on E so it goes to the end I really don't want this clip right now so I'm just gonna delete it and in order to delete it you're just gonna select any of the clips and just click on delete alright so that was easy other way of selecting just a portion of the clip in the timeline so you can actually do it in the timeline sequence as well by dragging um, either side of the clip 
and then just drag it so it's easy as that so you can like stretch it out or you can like reduce the duration of the clip so it's that simple next one is if you want to move around the order of the file so let me actually for this tutorial let me just add in all the other files as well I have all the files in my timeline sequence for convenience just for me to see all the clips at once rather than just like dragging like this I just have to go in here and then just like click in click here and then just reduce it so I can see all the clips that are in there so it's 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 almost like it's compressed command minus will take will give you the same thing of compressing all the clips Right. So now if I want to change the order of the with the clips in any order so if I want this to be in the in the beginning all I have to do is select that file and then just move it to the beginning or, or wherever you want to place it so it's as simple as that to play the timeline sequence at any time so this line this line right here that's called as a time indicator all you need to do is drag the time indicator to wherever you want play by clicking on the space and you can stop it by clicking on the space next one is splitting the clips in the timeline if you wanna if you want to split any of the clips in like you know two or three you can do that so you can select the time indicator and then so if I if I know that I need to split the clip right here I go in here and then I go into the time indicator now I can either do command B or I can do a control click and select split so I'm just gonna do that so I see a split clip right here so that's all I do and there you go so you have like two clips and it's just one clip but it's split into two so if I don't want you know a specific portion I can just delete it so I'm just gonna delete it next one is adding music so this is the most uh, fun part if you're using this video for YouTube you know you should make sure that you're using a copyright free music from YouTube studio which is like available uh, for free uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna import a song that I have in my tutorial folder so again I'm just gonna click on the import media file so there you go I have music in here I'm just gonna select it and I'm gonna drag and drop in here so usually the audio files are placed below the whole timeline sequence um, this is the audio and this is like the video same edit commands for video clips can be used for audio as well that is like split to delete etc again just drag the time indicator to wherever you want to split and then you go into that audio file and it and you just split clip uh, right now I'm just gonna do command Z because I don't want to split the music next what we're going to look into is the audio levels so iMovie automatically has all the audio files to 100% so if I just like click in here you can see that it, it shows up as 100% now there is an option to make it higher or lower so the max high, highest that you can drag to is 400% and lowest is like to 2 or you know zero, even 0% zero so that's the um, options available for audio levels so you, it really depends upon what audio level that you add so if it's like vocals you just need to you know replay it and see which level is the best suitable all right so next what I want to show you guys is the option of fading in and fading out of the audio so for this I just reduce the cursor size a little bit because uh, I really want to show you how it's done so you can adjust the audio to fade in or fade out by dragging this little circle that you see in here so there is an option to you know drag out so I'm gonna drag out a little bit so it'll actually show the duration of how much it's fading do the same thing here so it's actually fading in and fading out if you want to delete the audio that is combined with the video clip by control click and detach audio you go into each clip and then you do detach audio and now you can see here that the audio which was combined with that video is in here if you want the video to be silent you just have to select this and then just delete it so you, I want to do the same thing for the rest of them so I'm just gonna detach audio so now that I deleted all the audio that was attached to the videos the only music or the audio 
right now it's just the music that we added into the timeline now next one is adding transitions. so if you look in here there's different options for transitions backgrounds titles audio go into transitions most of the options in here are just like mm, it's like very uh, cheesy but some of them are okay but if you want to do something add a little spice to your video you can add it for sure so for example if I want this cross dissolve kind of transition between each of these clips all I need to do is select it and just drag it to between those two clips so yeah that's about it so if I just play so yeah that's the transition you see there it's very smooth and I kind of like it much better than not having a transition set in there so you can change the duration of the transition by double clicking on it and then you can set the duration in here so the next one is titles and background so if you want to add a end page or a starting page kind of thing this is perfect all you need to do is go into backgrounds and you can drag any kind of like nice background I'm gonna take this curtain drag it if you want to add a title to the background go to the titles page and then just add a title it looks like that right now all you need to do to edit it is just double click on it so you can write in anything in here so I'm just gonna write please subscribe <laughs> you can also add titles to any section of your whole video by just dragging and dropping and editing the text also add text in between clips so it will look like a very cool transition so um, I'll show you what that means so if I if I'm just gonna drag and I'm just gonna um, put it in between like a transition right here New Hampshire so I'm living out the side door all right, so the next one is voiceover. I think this is a very good, helpful option. So all you need to do for adding a voiceover in anywhere between your clips, drag the time indicator to wherever you want the voiceover at, and then just click on this microphone button here. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then you have to go in here to set your input source. So I do have an external microphone, so I'm just gonna use that. And then you should just make sure that you have your mute project checked. Just going to do like a test run here. Hey, this is Rosa from Work Life Balance. And this is a tutorial on iMovie 2020. If you look on top here, there are many options available for um, color correction. So this is for cropping if you're adding an image to the timeline sequence. This is to stabilize shaky videos if you're adding that. Uh, the one which I use the most is this one right here. It's the speed. So it is used to like either uh, make it faster or make it slower. It's like a filter that you can use if you want to. That's, uh, that's pretty much about it in here. So if you want to increase the speed or reduce the speed, all you need to do is select the clip and then just uh, adjust the speed to be fast. See this rabbit kind of a thing here. <laughs> and if you select slow, you see a turtle. So that's how you know that that clip is like either fast or slow. And now is the last part, exporting. So for exporting, all you need to do is go in here. This is the option for export. So either you can do it directly to YouTube or Facebook or any um, options that you want to do. Email it to your friends or whatever. Uh, I usually do the file. File format is usually video and audio. Resolution, it depends upon what be 1080p. Uh, th these are the ones that I took from my GoPro, so they were all 4K. So that's why that option is available. If you go like high, it's uh, much smaller. So um, that's why you can just go for high or if you want, you can go for best pro resolution as well. But high is good enough for um, you know YouTube or any other purposes like that. And then you're just going to select a folder wherever you want to save that video file at. 
So you can see over here that it's exporting. So this might take some time depending upon, you know, what machine you use. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's exporting. You can see that uh, file in the folder destination that you put in. And voila, you're done. I hope this video helped you guys a lot. And please hit the subscribe button. Like if you did. Thank you so much for watching.